I've been blindsided ministry so many ways. I mean, who would have ever thought? <laughs> thought we go when I went in, you know, years ago, we were wrestling with justification. You know? Mm-hmm. Then I had to turn around and look and see, well, a whole culture demands my submission on this issue of human sexuality. Never thought. Never thought 2015 would happen. No. Um, since then, we've had COVID. That that really did show, I think, how in many ways it exposed, you know, uh the church without clothing in some ways, right? <laughs> Say the emperor, but you know what I mean. In other words, there was a, it exposed a lot, you know, that there were people, some just not committed to the church, exposed a lot. What are the challenges going forward? And that now transgenderism. Now transgenderism. What's coming? Who knows? In God's providence. Yeah. How do we go forward? What do we do? What do you see are the challenges? Any, any thoughts on that? I think that one of the biggest challenges, and I, I speak to my congregation about this regularly, because let's just be honest, you know, congregations like ours, they're going to be watching, you know, Fox News and Newsmax and right. some of these channels that, right. um, you know, while they may have more of a, a conservative approach, we need to just say very clearly, these are money-making organizations. Right. They're they not they're godly doing. in their approach. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and so they're not helping make disciples. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and so I, I've encouraged our folks to be careful not to be caught up in the angry, right. nervous, hopeless rhetoric. Right. 